the judges had some questions, but we let it slide. It's too small. <laughs> uh, dude, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. Absolutely great to have you. So, while I got here a few minutes before we open up to their questions, um, are you willing here on our stage to admit that this whole gig has just been a protracted Count of Monte Cristo S revenge scheme because they did not make you the president of the Doctor Who Fan Club? I think that story's been slightly inflated. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, it's great to have I mean, it's fantastic to have been a Doctor Who fan and then to find yourself being Doctor Who and being the center of the program. It's remarkable. It certainly is. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, since they're gonna ask it anyway, um, how did you get, how did you get Pompeii? And at one point, when did you start to get the early warnings of, hey, they want you to come back in for another part? Um, well, I, uh, uh, when Doctor Who came back on TV, uh, I was really excited because I loved the show, but I didn't know anybody who was involved with it, and I didn't expect to ever be in it. Uh, and then I got a call saying, uh, they've offered you a role in, in Doctor Who. And I was like to my agent, yeah, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And my wife said, no, you've got to be a professional actor, read the script, <laughs> and see what it's like. Uh, so I had to be a professional actor uh, uh, and read the script. I thought, oh, this is great, I want to do this. And uh, so I went off down to a car lift uh, with David Tennant, who was absolutely fabulous to me. Uh, and uh, I had a great time being in the fires of Pompeii and never for a moment thought that there would be, uh, I would have anything more to be, to do with Doctor Who. You just, you checked that off the bucket list, didn't you? Like... I was just so excited to be there to see the TARDIS and all of that stuff. Uh, and then a couple of years passed, uh, and Matt came along, and he was fantastic. I loved watching him. Then I began to hear sort of whispers that he was leaving, and I was sort of just very interested to know who they were going to cast. And I was reading the newspapers, and they would say this guy and this guy and this person and this girl and whatever. And um, I thought, well, it would be fantastic to see who they're going to get. <laughs> Slightly myth that my name was never ever there, but I thought, well, you know, I'm I'm, I'm too old, but because they seem to just have young people all the time. Uh, and then Mark Gatiss was making an adventure in space and time, which was his documentary film, uh, which was the drama he made, a great film uh, about the original uh, Doctor Who, William Harvell. And he said, he knew I was a big fan. So he said, do you want to come down to the set? And see what we've got here. I said, I loved it. Because they built they had an old fashioned TARDIS and they had old Daleks and stuff there. And I thought, this is great. And then I got my photograph taken with David Bradley, who was playing uh, William Hartnell. And I said to Mark, thanks for letting me get my picture taken with Doctor Who, because when I was growing up, um, William Hartnell was Doctor Who. And Mark said to me quietly, uh, just in conversation, he said, How do you think you would feel about being Doctor Who? <laughs> And I thought, that's an odd question, but I thought, well, I, 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 I said, well, I'm sure that would be great, but I'm sure that uh, that, that boat has sailed. And he said, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what they're thinking about. Uh, and then I took, so we were in this old TARDIS, and I said, can I get my picture taken next to the old TARDIS? Uh, and he said, yeah, and I got, and I posed next to the TARDIS. But suddenly there was like 50 people taking photographs of me around this TARDIS. Um, and I should have sort of calmed on then. 